Where the breathing is easy, the living is good Out in the great outdoors Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats, Vortex, Tubbo Towels, Leroy's Meats, Bartline Barrels, Magic Products, Power Sports Company, Mike's Country Meats, Baronet Blinds, Drexel Building Supply, River's Edge Tree Stands, and the MRD Group. Out in the great outdoors. Hey everybody, it's Leroy's Breakfast Time. We are on Manhart Charter's boat. We got uh, pork in here. A little bit of chorizo, eggs, everything is out of Leroy's today. And we are scrambling up, we got fresh cheese in there. Smith is sitting there and is drooling his eyes out, trying to get some of these samples here. Ready, Smithy? I'm ready. But it's like a junkyard breakfast here. I got onions, peppers, Leroy's bulk pork breakfast in here. No, you can't. These are gonna be good in about three hours when we're oh, yeah, we're good, we're mm. good. Miles. This new boat's got a bathroom in it, so we're good, Smithy. Oh, <laughs> green, green. Can we eat them? Yeah. Delicious. Great way to start the day off, I can tell you that much. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. I will tell you what, like I do each and every week, we are out to have one heck of a good day. Weather is absolutely perfect. We're with our good friend, Rob Manhart from Manhart Charters. Hey Rob, I'll tell you what, I love the new boat. It's not a Warrior, but unfortunately, Warrior does not make a 30-some foot boat yet. Hey, so Rob, let's talk a little bit about your charter assist service. You know, last year we fished it, yeah, we had an absolutely awesome time, and we said, hey, let's get back out and do some more salmon fishing. Right now is usually a peak time right now to, to get on these coho, right? Yes, right now, early spring is the time for the coho salmon. They're typically closer to shore. They come in bigger numbers. Cohos are very aggressive usually catch a good number of fish in a short period of time. Yeah. Unlike like in the summer months, you're going to fish a little bit longer for the bigger fish. Okay. So they have this is a good time for the action. That's awesome. Hey, we got special guests on the boat today. Of course, we got our good friend Scotty Marilar from Rebel, which is our tub toll guy. Got the one and only Shotgun Schaefer. We're I'm still... this place up today, you guys. We're tearing up. And who do we got in the back of the boat? Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee is going to school in Oshkosh in, for a criminal justice major, and I told her dad that, like, don't worry, because in Oshkosh, at UWO there, nobody, no partying, no drinking, none of that goes on there at all. So she's in good hands going to Oshkosh, yes, right? Yes, I sure hope so. She'll right. be close to you, so if she needs anything, I know what to call. Right, there you go. Absolutely beautiful day. Um, the lake is pretty flat right now. Is that good or not? I mean, yeah, I mean, like I'm a walleye guy and I like a little bit of a chop most of the time. What is that, I mean, when it comes to salmon, is it a big deal to have a little chop or not have a little chop? A little chop does help to bite a little bit. It breaks up the surface. Okay. They're, okay. they're surface feeding fish and cohos, and when it's flat like this, it makes it a little bit tougher. But we got some tricks. You just adjust right. to it huh, yeah. a little bit. All right, everybody, hang on to your honey. So, Let's rock and roll. Hammer down. Hammer down. Hammer down. So out here on Lake Michigan, we got this back when we pull the pin. Run your line through, come up, open the clip up, run around the back side of your clip, lift it back up, and back in. It's a quick tip, so when you got a big fish on, you undo it, it comes around your finger, and it's off that fast. right here yeah it's called the KM Black Widow it was her design real really? hammer flies picked it up from her this was I hope you're getting the royalty off right of it. come on fish Do I, you guys are sitting back there chit chatting. Do I have to tell you guys to bite? I mean, when the reel is sizzling, you know it's a fish. Got it! Got the first one. Come on, man. And slowly start bringing your tip down because yep. you want your tip flat pointed at the board. 
So when we go to do a lift, I'm gonna give you a little more drag. Stop for All right, go ahead. So bring your tip down now and keep reeling. There you go. Just like that. See how the board settled down? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Got him! Yeah. All right! Thin the net? Look at net. thinner! Go home! Go home! Nice job. On my side, Kaylee. Kaylee had the first hit, you got the first fish. Yeah, right. right. Hey, Kaylee was on a moonshine. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> One down. Let's hear about it, sir. Let's hear about it. How was your experience? Oh, that was a great experience. <laughs> oh. You scared oh, him right out of my hands? Nuts. Thank goodness we got a lot of tumble towels because yep. we might need some more. All right. One down, Papa. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. Yep. Get him, Scott. Oh, well, I got a ways to go. No. Get him. Oh, I mean, I got a ways to go. Oh. Calm down. Same one. Start All right. Before you walk back. Ooh, Start real awesome. Yeah. The hot, the hot, that's the hot rod so yeah, far. Yeah, that's the second one. Cool one. No. It didn't happen. Next, the next 10 are yours. Yeah, keep it down. Another coho. Yeah. All right. We're all, we're all oh, nice. Yeah. Perfect eater. Two down. Two down. No, not one more. Yeah. Now we're going to catch another fish. In the box it goes. In the box. He's got a clean deck. Dirty deck is a good deck. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, switch it over. Woo! All right, there you go, girl. Talk to us. Talk to us. Talk to us. How does it feel? Is that arm rooting you? No. No? That's one of them big kings. All right, nice. Nice. Now, what bait was that on? That, this was Kaylee's Black Widow. Oh, ho, ho. The Black Widow is yours? Another one bites the dust. There's the love. You see, they just right. chucked it in there. Your fish, your fish made a mess back there. Mmm. Mmm. Tusker. We eat fishy. That's the name of the game. Mm -hmm. right. Woo! Long right. time ago. Y'all listens to me. <laughs> see? Oh, okay. What do you mean? That was Kaylee's idea. Anyway. Anyway. No, I wasn't. Right. I just ordered that about it. This here, guys, <laughs> is a line that's 500 feet behind the boat. We're going to see how Kaylee does yeah, with this we'll fish. See. She'll have jello arms. Oh my god, they're really big fish. <laughs> how many feet how many feet you got? Left to go? 500. Oh, 500 piece of cake. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're almost there. Yep. Right another 400. Oh, that's it? That's, that's it? it? Oh, almost there. 400. Okay, now it's not good. She's on fire. She caught it to me. Two on her side, two on my side. We gotta change things up, Robbie. Right. Start bouncing. Yeah, start tapping rods. Oh yeah, that was a steel line. And for every 20 feet, or I'm sorry, for every 100 foot of line you let out, the bait sinks 20 feet. The water temperature is cold from top to bottom, so there's no real concentration of fish just sitting on the surface right now. There! Ah, ah. Get her going, buddy. Pump it. Pump this it. is my Pump 400. It. How do you like it? Everybody's loving busting it, loving your it, chops. Loving it. Oh. oh. What do you mean a TV fish? <laughs> yeah. 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 Schaefer. Shock. Well, it's time to eat these good. Hey, I know how this all works. We eat fishies, right? So I keep yeah. eating, they keep whining. Oh. Oh. We got fish right there, right behind you. Right there, just one yeah. up. Double. Double. Rob, see, I'll keep eating. I'm, right in front of your face. I'm, I'm doing the hardest part right here, you guys. Yeah, you, know, you want more, more rods to go off? Yeah. Here. Good. We'll help you. I'll help you. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, I'm, I'm doing the important part. We're eating. Come here, Larry. Come here, Larry. Larry, that's a fish. Larry. That's a fish, Larry. I can't oh, eat the guy. Oh. Oh, my God. Whoa, what wait. a train wreck you are. What are you doing out here? He's still real. He's still real. Gosh. Here's a bastard. Oh, whatever. A poison <laughs> trash. I mean. Get ready to net. Here's the lead. Oh, I don't even think he's got one on. I see a flasher. You Look at that. You see yeah, that? Oh, you see that. how you slap that yeah, water? That was yeah. awesome. You slap that water right there? <laughs> well, these fish are definitely in a feeding pattern this morning because they're getting all the trouble hooks right inside their mouth. They're not telling it, so they're definitely feeding. Mid morning? It's only 8 o'clock. That's mid morning? <laughs> oh, that's why you salmon yeah. guys yeah, are. That's why morning. I stick to the walleyes. <laughs> oh, I a dancer out there. Yep. Come on, let's get a double. Double! Another high line hitting. So a five ace 
ounce kill weight, 30 feet out, then you put the board on, running right across the surface. That bait's only five feet underneath the surface. Very effective bait for the coho season. Kaylee's gonna show Larry here how to net a fish properly. Yes. <laughs> Somebody's gotta show me. I've been banned from the net. <laughs> Get my go teeters donut in there. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. All over oh. Setting up. Nice job. Hey, teamwork. Is, we got teamwork this going is, uh, on. The number board. number lucky seven or lucky seven four. Hey, if you're looking for a bigger planer board, you definitely want to check out the, the TX44. This is an awesome board if you're running like lead core or if you're running, you know, copper wire. These are great boards. They can handle that extra drag behind them. Or a lot of times too, if you're running big musky baits, another great idea when you start thinking about a bigger board. Uh, so then again, you know, check out Church Tackle. They've got several different sizes of boards for any type of fishing that you want to do. I can do it. Woohoo! My turn. Moonshine, good fish too. What you guys? What are you guys doing up there? Stop messing with the electronics. I tell you what. Turn your back for one second on these guys, and all of a sudden, all these things are going off. I had everything under control while I was up there. The faster I get this one in, the faster I get the rod back out. On to the next fish. I'm all about production. He just, oh, he crushed that moonshine. Check this out, you guys. Woohoo! Nike, nice. Another coho, nice looking coho. I don't know, what took, hey, what took you guys so long to get 400 feet in? I had 600. I had 600 out there. I don't know what the, the problem is. You've been sitting there for three hours eating donuts, building up a little uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> that sugar. sugar rush. Yes. It's always good to have lots of sugar in you. Yeah, they're all where I didn't wipe. This is good. Wipe no. the whole boat down. Right. Yeah. Well, I just wipe wiped, I wiped down. this down too. Uh, this is going to be a great tool to have. I'm worried on a, a double. Guess what? 170. I told you. 170, not. you were right. This feels like a good fish. Look how far, look how far back he is. Look at that! Whoa. Woo! Nice. Yeah, baby! That's what we're talking about. We're talking about good eating, having fun, enjoying life. Come on, Rob. You lost. You're the only guy that's lost two. Don't make it be three. Whoa! Burn. Feeling good, feeling good, feel the arm burn. You want a workout, you just come fishing with us. This is where you're going to get your workout. That's a great workout. Nice. Job right here. King has the black mouth. Okay. Completely black on the inside, and he has a nice big spotted tail. It's a crappie. Oh, right. oh my. <laughs> oh my. It's a Lake oh Michigan my. Perch. Good eater. Oh, that one wanted it. Holy man. Probably some of the worst conditions you could have, would you say? Calm conditions like this, right? Like you start in sun, clear skies, and we're still catching fish. Yeah, this right? is a very, very tough time to fish right now when the, when the water is as calm as it is. If you can see behind me, it's glass calm. These fish can pick everything out. They see the boat, they see the boards. You know, it makes it very tough. So I see one thing that you did do is that we're not around anybody else. We're basically fishing all by ourselves, and that's got to help out because obviously we're we're still putting fish in the boat. Find your own water to fish. Therefore, you're not there's no competition. There's less noise. There's less for the fish to see out there, and that's our success. That's how we make it work. Hey, Rob, you've been doing this for 13 years now, and you know I've been in the guiding business pretty much all my life. It's not an easy way to make a living. All right, and I, I want people to really kind of understand that 
you know, I look at it like we're very fortunate to do something that we love to do. Because, you know, the thing is that, that I like to talk about is that, you know, sometimes you get on the grind and you're out every day for a month, maybe a month and a half, maybe even two months where you don't even get a day off. But you realize that every day when you get people in your boat, that it's their day and it's like a lot of times people don't get a chance to fish you know as obviously as much as we do so you got to make it special for them i mean and that's really what guiding is about again it's it's about creating a great experience and that's what i love i started fishing with you last year i'm like i'm hooked with this guy you know what he knows what he's doing he loves to have fun he's got great equipment and it's all about really building that or i can't think of a better place to get rid of all the problems you have even if it's just for the time that you're out here and to really just get refreshed. That's what I love about fishing. We want right there, get, get right on that reel. Get on that, get on that reel. Schaefer, let them in on that reel. This is a true That's what we're looking for right there. Whoa! Look at that board getting buried. That's like 500 feet out, right? 500 foot. <laughs> That's a good fit. Oh, this is going to be a multi-person reel. I'm the captain here. What do you mean I'm sleeping? Right. This is the one we were we we're looking for. Oh, oh, Larry, this is the other moonshine. This is you. I got her. Got double moonshines going now. What do you got? You got the orange Hulk on there? What a great way to spend a morning. I'll tell you that. You know what? Get up early before the sun comes up. It's my favorite time of day. You know. You want to be happy in life? Spend more time outside. So you guys, Larry's got another fish on right now. We just brought this one in on a moonshine Hulk lure. By far, my go-to is moonshine. Look at that. Another moonshine. You can say sunshine or you can say moonshine. It is the way to go. It's moonshine time. When they want steel, Put the moonshines out, the only spoon that I run. All right, you guys, time to pick up. We did awesome. What a great morning. Hey, Chief, watch your rod. You're under the other one. I gotta keep, I gotta keep. I should almost just stay right here and just like, you know, supervise the pulling of the lines. But you know what? I'm not so worried about Kaylee and Rob they, and Scott, they got it dialed. It's Shotgun Schaefer, right? He's always up to something. Hopefully he's up to some Alfredo when we get in. Hey everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, Mr. Manhart, you've always got a great tip every time we fish with you. And today when I saw this this morning, I thought to myself, that is a great idea. Let's tell everybody what I'm talking about. Right here, these hair clips, you can buy them at any store locally. They're great for holding your baits for when you're traveling in and out of the lake into your hot spot. Just tap it right over your bait to your pole, it'll hold it nice and tight. Or it's great for spoons, flies. Hold your bait, it has holes in it so it'll dry as well. That way you don't have a wet soap or a wet, wet fly or anything else. Make sure you guys go out and buy your own. Don't take them from your wives. You might not, might not be <laughs> yeah, you might get, <laughs> yeah, right. That might be the tip. It's like you might need a good lawyer after that. <laughs> hey, everybody, again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up in Tigerton. Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. I guide pretty much over 300 days a year, and the people that I bring into my boat aren't just customers and friends, they're actually family. And I always try to keep these people as comfortable as I can and safe, and I cannot think of a better product than a warrior boat. Why is their customer service so good? Because they know that you're part of their family. Come join the warrior family. Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. Got the old Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. <laughs> I love it. The old shiver man. Oh, what do I got now? I got oh, another yeah. species. Yeah. Absolutely great, great products. All right, here we are in the boat, Manhart Charter. You get thought it's Leroy lunchtime, but tonight's dinner. We got fresh walleye. I got white wine in there. And a couple seconds I'm putting. This is the best stuff you guys can ever buy. 
I don't care what you have. Ultimate steak seasoning rub. But I just cubed a walleye up, and what I'm doing is sauteing it right now in the wine. Don't be shy with this stuff. This adds a lot of flavor. Stir it up a little bit. Got Alfredo's nice and hot. I got some Italian bread I bought from Leroy's. All buttered up. It's a little tough on the water to prepare stuff, but we'll get her done. Walla Alfredo, Leroy meets lunchtime. Hey, it's a full service guide service, right? What are you talking about, man? Okay. Rob does it right. Hey, I'll tell you what, Rob Manhart, the Manhart of all Manharts. I still, the, that name Manhart, that just sounds like a manly name, right? right it's Manhart. Manhart. Uh, it's a man with a heart. Hey, you know, what an awesome morning we had out there. You know, we had realistically not the most perfect conditions. We still managed to get 19 fish in the boat, lost quite a few. And I think if Schaefer went to bump the throttle when you had that monster fish on, you know, we went, we, he went to lost $100 uh, worth of a wire line, right? And a couple of good lures. Hey Rob, you know what? You're doing this full time. You've been doing it for the last 12, 13 years. This is a great experience, and that's what really the outdoors are all about. It's about the experience, about you guys and gals bringing your friends, your family, your customers out and showing them a good time. And if you want to do that, make sure you give Rob a call. Rob, let's tell them how they can get a hold of you. So you can call us at 262-719-1475 or go right, right to our website, manhartcharters.com, and you can even book your trip right there on our website now. Make it easy for everybody. That's right. That's what it's all about. Hey, we want to thank your daughter, Kaylee. We want to thank Shotgun Schaefer. We want to thank Scotty from Rebel, which is our double towel man. And we definitely want to thank you gals and guys for watching our show each and every week. And no doubt, the most important of all, we want to thank all of our military men and women for the great service that they continue to give this country and have given this country, along with all of our firefighters, paramedics, and no doubt, all of our law enforcement and all of our law enforcement agents. Remember, it is a great day to be alive. And the best part is, everybody, we're going to see you guys and gals again next week. And thanks for joining us. How is it working for your dad? I mean, it seems like he's busting your chops every once in a while, too. Well, yeah, I mean, he doesn't pay me enough. He what? He doesn't pay you no, enough either? No, Are you kidding me? Has me do so much for yeah. so little. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, remember when you got my shoes wet? How's your shoes doing, Kaylee? Huh? Hell yeah, good. See why I didn't wear socks today? Because I knew. Have you found this? is my first fish <laughs> in my new boat. <laughs> it's a what? It's not even a fish. Oh, there was a rigger. It was caught on a dip seat. Oh, <laughs> Not even hit it's only 720. It's mid morning. <laughs> like, mid. Oh, I got it out. I had a oh, bad booger. Lucky. I got a booger out. It was not good, you guys. My my zero paycheck was almost owing Rob money to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs>